uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you a new tool which allows you to crop your images with live preview so the link is given in the description of the video you can check out the live demo of my tool here which is deployed on my freemediatools.com website the link is given in the description of the video so this is a tool guys basically we allow the user to select the image file and as I select the image file basically this uh, live preview will be there <coughs> and this uh, cropper we have the live cropper here we can crop the images or we can cut the images with this uh, live slider here you can see that we can basically crop the required portion of the image so I just want this portion so what I will do is that after that there is a button out there click on save the image will be cropped here you will see that now there is an option of download as you click the download option your image will be downloaded you will see that the image is successfully cropped here and we are using the cropper.js library guys inside node.js and express to actually do the cropping for us you can see how easy it is basically you can crop any portion here click that button and now your image is cropped right here you can also do it like this any portion that you want click on that and now you can see that click on save and uh, your image will be saved here so we will try to build this application from scratch guys you can check out the live demo and also the source code is also given of this tool guys in the description of the video you can directly purchase it from stripe and paypal all the links are given in the description so check out the full description so first of all guys let me show you the library that we are using so we are using this library javascript library cropper.js so it's a javascript image cropper guys this is the actual library which we are using here to actually crop the image it has its own official website guys basically it's an open source library which allows you to crop any portion of the image and now to use this library we need to first of all include the CDN so inside the index.js we just require the express library as you can see we are requiring it then we are making a new express application we are making the public directory a static and then we are listening on 5000 so this is the four in four lines of code which is required in index.js file so now inside index.html the public folder we have created that file so first of all we have required the cdn for cropper.js this is required this is for only the css part guys we have included the CSC this is a CSS of the library so we have included the CDN portion so after that we will write our basic HTML guys this is the basic HTML that you see so let me show you first of all if I type here localhost 5000 so this is the interface guys basically if you see the choose file button this is a choose file button that you see right here guys basically we have this input type of we are only accepting images and we have given the id to it of file input and it is required so we are only accepting images right here and then here inside this div portion we will be showing the result to the user we have given a class to it we will target this using javascript and then we have basically the right portion where we will show the cropped image we have the image tag we have given a class of crop portion here we will target it inside javascript and then we have uh, options basically to control the width of the cropped image and also to save the image so we have a button to save the image and also to basically provide the width of the cropped image this is all the javascript part guys then we have a jquery cdn we are including the jquery cdn and also the cropper.js cdn as well these two libraries that we are including guys you will see that and then guys we are writing basic CSS code for styling the application this is not mandatory but we are basically targeting the image tags all that stuff this is not mandatory that for this application but we have just added that and now guys basically we are getting references of all the elements all the HTML elements which is image height image width save button cropped image we have using basically this method if you know query selector so we are basically providing class dot symbol for classes and this uh, 
hash symbol if you see basically this is for id so if you know we are getting references of all the elements and then right here basically here we will actually write the code here so right here guys first of all uh, we will write the code here so upload add event listener we will basically add an event listener here when the image is changed in that case this event will take place the very first thing we will do e dot target dot uh, files dot length basically here we will check that uh, if the file is selected by the user or not so if the file is selected in that case we will actually read the file and for that purpose we will use the file reader class file reader class basically allows us to actually load the image file in the browser and uh, here we will actually use this on load event handler e dot target dot result if it contains we will basically show the image on the screen we will create a new element by create element method we will create an image tag and then we will provide a id to it of image image dot source will be equal to e dot target dot result and after that guys we will just reset the inner html of the image to nothing and we will append the image by using append child image that's all so result we are getting reference we have given a class and uh, after that we will basically show the save button as well we will remove the class of hide and also we will show the options as well we will also remove the class of hide and we will basically invoke the cropper js library we will pass the image and just after that we will basically call read ads data url uh, e dot target dot result e dot target files zero so what will happen guys with the help of this code as you basically select your image file so now you will see basically the library will load here and also the save button that you see right here will show also the options will also show here so once you basically click this save button nothing will happen because we haven't written the functionality once we load the image file this will show here we can basically select the portion whichever portion that we want to crop here by using the slider this option so now we need to write this event handler whenever we click this button save button what should happen so for doing that it is very easy guys we will basically write code for the event handler for save event so save button add event listener and this will be click so once we click this button guys we will now need to crop the portion of the image we will say e dot prevent default and then we will say let image source is equal to cropper we will call this library cropper and basically pass the width value which is uh, image width value and it also contains basically only the width and then it returns a promise method to data url and then we will basically add a class remove that class which is the height class basically to show the image cropped image and now to show that cropped image we will say that uh, we will remove the height class so cropped source will be equal to image source so whatever is the cropped image we will put this right here and after that guys we will put the download button we will remove the height class and we will basically name the file as uh, image.png and we will set the attribute of uh, href to be image source so that's all guys uh, now if you click the download button your cropped image will be downloaded if you select here and if you crop the image click on this button now you will see that the button is not working 
cropper is not a function let me see okay okay sorry guys there is a method there is a method out there which is cropper dot get cropped canvas this is the method that we need to call and here we need to provide the width and that's all so if you refresh now click this button it is saying get cropped canvas is not a function so let me see just paste it here guys okay i made a spelling mistake guys you will see that uh, this needs to be cropped get cropped so select so now you can see your image is cropped guys you can change the width here to 5 so again click uh, choose the file refresh the application save your image is cropped now now you can download the image and now you can see your image is saved you can see that so you can take any image of your choice guys totally depends upon you you can see that if i click now download first of all save it now your image is uh, cropped guys you will see that you need to download and now your image is downloaded so you can see that guys you can successfully crop images in the browser itself a live preview you can check out the live demo which is deployed on my website freemediatools.com before you purchase the full source code the link is given in the description of the video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video